grayscale your separations and somebody who's using an illustrator who can't open these effects files and draws which illustrator can't deal with the monochromes so they can't output those monochromes from illustrator you got to convert them to grayscales and then you can send those to the, to the illustrator guys so they can open up their illustrator and print out your separations if you're working with monochromes that's why we have that in there but okay we want to go 800 dpi half tones and then we're going to generate separations and we'll go ahead and click ok and we'll let simple steps process our half tone separations we'll take a look at what our design would look like actually printed out screen printed half tones from corel draw and on a t-shirt and this will take just a minute to process because it's a high-end raster rim raster image processing script that we run this through in draw so now I've got this converted to halftones. We'll take, zoom in and take a look here. This is my white, and there's my actual dots, and that's how that'll print out, and that's what that'll create my effects. And everything very easy to print, not hard to hold. You know, you've got to have good film. Um, we've printed high end with these dots, not a problem. Now, the other issue we want to do is we'll take a look at a color comp here. I'm not going to print these steps out, actually, but at least not at this point in time. But go ahead and delete this, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'll bring in a t-shirt comp here just so we could actually see what the halftones would look like. Two size on an actual t-shirt. So I'll go ahead and grab my uh, men's comp front here. And I'll go ahead and bring this in. And um, actually I'm, I want to undo that because I don't want to change I don't want to change the size of my graphic here. So I want to do that right there and then I'll go ahead and work with this t-shirt comp here. We'll ungroup all of this. Delete, delete and we'll get rid of this here. Right click, I'll take this comp order, we'll go to back of page, and we'll go ahead and change this here in size. Now once this is half tones, in Corel, I simply go to bitmap mode, black and white. I'll select line art okay, here, here, and I'll go ahead and left click to knock out my background. I can change this to a white, and there would be my white. I'll change my shirt color to the golden yellow. And I'll come over here and I'll grab a little bit of darker red from my shading. And I could really give the client an idea of what this is actually going to print like on the t-shirt. So that there'd be no question about what they were going to get on their design. And we'll go ahead and resize this just a bit. And clients really love these uh, photographic comps, that's for sure. But anyway, go ahead and we'll go to our black. We'll copy this. and that'll take just a minute to process because the file is absolutely huge and I'm recording video at the same time and then we'll go back here to the other page and paste that in and then I'll go over here and I'll just go ahead and paste and we'll bring that black in now Corel does not render these halftones very well but they print just fine there's some video that we've done of how these halftones come out you can print t-shirts with them no problem I want to go here bitmap mode black and white okay and we'll left click to knock out our background and here's our actual design now once I go ahead and take this and actually go ahead take this as you can see here and actually take this and convert this to a CMYK so go bitmap and I'll go to convert to bitmap I'm going to go 300 dpi CMYK because Corel's going to render that better for an R actually we'll go to RGB but I'm dealing with CMYK colors here in my color palette so we'll go with CMYK transparent background got anti-aliasing turned on Select OK and we'll let that process. Now we'll get a much better preview and draw that we can send our client an actual halftone comp so it'd be no question about what they're getting when we present this upsell. And now we've got an actual halftone comp set up on our design from our halftones that we can send to our clients for approval and there'll be no question about what they're going to get when they get their design, even with the halftones in it. And you could take this actually and take the whole t-shirt and resize that into your comp as you can see here change the size of that and then take the whole t-shirt bitmap convert to bitmap we could say 300 dpi or 150 dpi cmyk select ok we'd have something we could ex export to a pdf send to our client or even put on our website and you'd have the design actually set up with all your effects set up to go in Corel Draw. So as I said, most of the market thinks that you can only do these things in Photoshop. Obviously, you can do these things very well in Adobe Photoshop. I don't have any issues with Adobe Photoshop. It's just that I can do them easily, more easily, more quickly in Corel Draw with a little bit more simple and more powerful control over what's going on with the textures and things like that. So this is a whole world of design opportunity 
for you Corel Draw users to start creating some of these designs and effects very easily, even from simple vector logos and designs that you're working with. And this is a nice looking design that is going to impress your clients a little bit different than your vector. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video session.